This is Android Time Clock. If you're an independent business person who bills your clients by the hour, this app is perfect for you. In this video, we'll show you how simple and easy it is to track your hours and expenses and use this data to generate invoices. To begin tracking your hours, simply press the Start button. Normally, you'd press the Now button to track your hours while you work, but let's say we started working two hours ago and forgot to clock in. We can now press the Specify Time button and set our start time back two hours. Now our time is being tracked, and the time that we've worked is shown here on the screen. Each time you start the timer, a notification is created to remind you that you're clocked in. We'll use this notification later to help us clock out. While you're working, you may want to record notes so that you'll have a record of what you worked on. To do this, we tap this button and enter our note. We can enter as many notes as we want, and we can also use predefined notes for recurring tasks. While we are working, we can leave the app and do other things. We can even turn off the phone without affecting the timer. When we're ready to stop working, we can use the notification to take us back to the app and then press stop to stop the timer. We can go to this page to see our completed time record. From here, we can view all the details as well as edit any of the data. We can also add completed time records without going through the clock in clock out process. Let's add one for yesterday where we worked four hours but forgot to record it at that time. Time Clock also lets you track expenses and mileage. Let's say we're driving to Sacramento for a meeting and our client is going to reimburse us for the trip. We can either enter the total mileage or we can use our car's odometer to calculate how far we traveled. Before we start driving, let's say our odometer is at 16,140. We can enter this and come back to it later. We can see that the item is now in a pending state. When we're done driving, we can enter the new odometer reading, let's say 16,255, and the app will calculate the mileage and the reimbursement amount. Now that we've entered our data, let's use it to create an invoice. This can be done a couple of different ways. We can export our data as CSV files directly from the app, or we can use Time Clock Connect to manage our data and generate invoices directly from our Time Clock data. With Time Clock Connect, you have an online account that automatically syncs with your mobile device. When you see this synced message on your app, it means that all of your data has been transferred and verified on Time Clock Connect. This gives you complete peace of mind, knowing that no matter what happens to your phone, your data is safe and accessible from the Time Clock Connect website. So let's go there and pick up where we left off with our data. Here we can see the time records that we just entered. And here we can see our mileage expense item that we created. Now I'll show you how easy it is to create an invoice from this data. We just pick our client and hit go. The system automatically finds any new records that have not yet been used in an invoice. Let's accept these defaults and create the invoice. And there it is, our new invoice. We can email the PDF to our client directly from Time Clock Connect. You'll notice that after sending the email, the status of the invoice has changed from draft to sent. The system tracks the complete life cycle of all your invoices including payments. Back on our invoice list, we can see at a glance the status of all of the invoices that we've created 
on Time Clock Connect. We can also view the complete timestamped history of any invoice by clicking on the Show History button. We've only touched upon all the features in Time Clock and Time Clock Connect, but we hope that we've given you an idea of just how easy it is to use. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy the app.